Now this is pod racing. Surprises. <laughs> Jesse? The last meme. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I did enjoy this movie, but I feel like we're all gonna have a similar reaction of, there were specific scenes that were supposed to have some very emotional weight to them mm -hmm. that then got ruined by someone deciding, you know what would be great? Let's add a joke in here. So basically it has the Marvel problem. Yeah, yeah that's what absolutely. you're saying. Which might just be the Disney, the problem. Disney problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of Star Wars going on there, but it also felt like that there were moments that just didn't quite fit in the overall universe. It's a dangerous, slippery slope to another Jar Jar, because it's like, the porks could have been Jar Jar. It and and been one decision. And let's like, just get that right off the bat. I don't think that the porks are Jar Jar, but just it's in that direction. It, 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 it's like, it, I, it's not that bad, but it's almost too much. In my mind, the Porgs were strictly a marketing ploy because you know kids are gonna want like a stuffed Porg or yeah. Pork Pop vinyl. Because to or... be fair, to be fair about it, if you're if we're looking at, it, they don't contribute to the story in any certain way, shape, or form. No, no. no. My thing is, I like the movie. I really do. I don't know. There's a lot of points where I just felt I was watching a comedy instead of a Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. In old Star Wars movies, I feel there's tension throughout the whole movie, and that's broken a lot mm -hmm. in, this, in this film. I hate to say this because I know there's a really bad connotation that comes with it, but this, at points throughout the film, felt like someone kind of tried to force their Star Wars fan fiction into it. Okay. There's a great Star Wars movie in there. Mm -hmm. It's just that it, it also got sprinkled with a couple of things that were questionable comedic moments and, and just things that you're like, I don't know, I don't, I don't necessarily think that was necessary kind of stuff. Yeah, I thought like the first half or so was kind of slow. I definitely was satisfied with the like last third of it. It yeah. was very yeah. satisfying. Yeah. I think it resolved well, uh, that last portion. Mm -hmm. This did not have the same problem as Force Awakens had of, we've seen this already. This no, was a this was a new story. I think just generally, I felt like it was the most non-Star Wars, Star Wars movie. Yeah. Like, I feel like outside influences have definitely affected it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how, how to feel about that. I feel, it, I'm sitting there going like, is that a bad thing that they're going a different direction? Or should it be, should there be an expected tone and... I think there's gonna be people on both sides of that, no yeah. matter what. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a hard decision for them to make. Yeah. It really is. Um, Do you tell everyone to go watch it right now? Wait till later, maybe Blu-ray digital, or do you burn it with fire? I would say go watch it in theaters. It's Star Wars. Of course you're gonna go watch it in theaters. And if you don't, what have you been doing with your life? Through your neighbor's window? Uh, no, in theaters, definitely. Yeah, I agree. There's just something about seeing a Star Wars in theaters that really, uh, it just encapsulates you. Yeah. yeah, definitely go watch it. It's not Phantom Menace, and it's definitely not Attack of the Clones. It's not the best Star Wars movie. There's flaws to it, but it's a, it's still a great, fun time. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button down below. Let us know what you think, and if you hated it, loved it, if you have problems with the pork, just say so. We want to make sure and thank our subscribers. 1-800-GIVE-ME-PIZZA. Don't drive, just dial. And we'll catch you next time. And may the force be with you. No, 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 no. no.